Hi everyone, welcome to the ISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam and in this tutorial series, we are going to take a look on it own OTBI reports for fetching HCM cloud data. And in our previous sessions, we had already discussed in details about the OTBI reporting tool. Uh, what is basically this reporting tool and how does it work the basic features and functionalities of this OTBI reporting tool and uh, we had seen how do we fetch uh, the cloud financial data via this OTBI reporting tool and in this tutorial series we are basically going to take a look on how do we fetch uh, the HCM cloud data via this reporting tool so let's get started this is basically uh, this session is basically all about uh, fetching the HCM cloud data so so here this is basically our uh, simple and basic requirements for fetching the HCM uh, uh, data for an employee via this OTBI reporting tool so here we are going to fetch the person number date of birth first name last name and uh, the grade assigned to that particular employee uh, the job name uh, for that employee and the department in which that particular em uh, employee is working so this is basically the our requirement and uh, now next what i am going to show you i am going to show you uh, the here this is basically our report output uh, so this is the report which we are going to uh, generate via this uh, OTBI reporting tool so it contains uh, the basic employee details is basically the title for this report and it contains uh, uh, the uh, measures first name last name person date of birth person number grade name job name and department name so let's get started how do we do that this is basically our uh, uh, instance home page Oracle Fusion instance home page and the navigation is uh, uh, clear to you all just we just have to go to this navigator icon and search for the tools option under it we just have to click on reports and analytics and click on this browse catalog option and here we have basically two folders so i am just going to select the uh, my desired folder which is uh, under custom and it's uh, my data so it this is basically my folder so here i am going to create my analysis so i am just going to simply click on this create option and select this first one which is analysis so one subject area window will get open from where I'm going to select my respective subject area for fetching these uh, basic details for an employee, which is uh, workforce management worker assignment real time is my respective subject area for this one. So this is basically uh, my respective subject area, which is workforce management worker assigned in real time. I'm going to select it. Here on the left panel, uh, we have this subject area and these are basically the dimensions under the subject area. So which dimension I'm going to select worker, expand this one and select the worker first name last name and person date of birth and last is person number so this is about uh, the measures from worker dimensions now next I'm going to expand the grade dimension and I'm going to select the grade name 
and then job expand job dimension and select the job name and department name last one is department name and if you want to include some other measures you can include depending on your requirement so these are basically some basic details for an employee so uh, after selecting all these we just have to click on this results tab in order to get the preview for this one so here is our output so just uh, uh, added some table properties from here just to go to this uh, um, view properties option and select uh, data viewing right now it is fixed header with a scrolling content so we can see that uh, we have to horizontally scroll uh, this bar so that we can able to see the complete details so i'm going to uh, select this one content page and click on ok so that we get the complete details without horizontally uh, scrolling the bar so now the next step is to save this report we just have to click on the save analysis option and we just have to uh, provide the name first otbi Our basic employee details. This is my analysis name. Click on OK. Click on OK and just go to this catalog option and search for this one. Here is the report. Click on Open. So here this is basically our report and here we have so many options available so if we want to export this particular report we can export it in so many different formats like we want the PDF format, Excel format, PowerPoint, Web Archive, whatever format we want to uh, keep for this report we can select any one of them and then we'll be able to see the output of report. Click on OK here is the pdf format for this particular basic employee details report so this is all about our today's session in which we had seen uh, the fetching of basic employee details via otbi reporting tools and in our upcoming sessions uh, we will uh, perform some uh, advanced uh, functionalities on this uh, particular uh, report so we will continue in our in our upcoming sessions thank you everyone for watching